So, here is an idea I've been kind of thinking about for a while. Like, a fun idea I thought would be um, something to play with, something to really, like, um, would just be a neat idea to really play with and really have, like, it'd be cool to see the impact of it. And, th and I know it's been done, like, in the, uh, like, what was it, Arkham Knight, I believe they did this, but let's just throw out the idea of what if um, Batman, you know, not Batman, um, Jim Gordon ran for mayor? What would it be like if Jim Gordon ran for mayor? And you may be thinking right off the gate, well, why would you have Gordon run for mayor when you could do a story where Bruce Wayne runs for mayor because he could so easily win? That's the idea, is that Bruce R Wayne could easily win and run Gotham as a great mayor, but the catch is he doesn't want to do that because he's Batman and he prefers any... You know, he thinks he can do more good as Batman, which we all know, that's a lie. <laughs> we, we know he can do a lot better without being Batman. So, the next candidate for that would be Gotham. and I mean, Gotham, Gordon, as the mayor of Gotham. And the reason why I think Gordon would be a cool choice to have him be for mayor, because... He's mul you've seen him multiple times that Gordon is not a guy for politics. He hates working with politicians. He hates politics itself. He just wants to do his job. And I think that would be a, a cool idea because whereas Wayne would know how to play the political game, Gordon wouldn't know where to start. Like, just have it... Like, he doesn't even need to win or, like, he could lose the... the lose the... Uh, lose a, a lose. Or he just drops out. Like, that would... Like, you could just have a concept of an idea of, oh my gosh, Jim Gordon is running for mayor. Um, but that would be a cool story of him just being like, look, I want to protect the people. I want to be, you know... I want, you know, I'm kind of done being a commissioner, and I want to help the people, even though I don't want to do this, but I've kind of gotten to the point where, fine, I'll do it myself, because it's very obvious that every mayor we've had in Gotham is either spineless or corrupt, and I'm really tired of that. So, that, and again, Gordon's eyes going in would be a cool way, because Gordon knows that he's already going to hate this. He already knows that he would hate this. And you could play like his camp, his his campaign opponent, his election, his opponent for the election of mayor is like, um, just pulls out all this stuff like they're trying to find dirt on Gordon or make stuff up about him, and he'd be like, well, how many? How you've been a commissioner of how many years in Gotham, and you've you've done how little? Like without that, let's let like take Batman out of the equation. What has the GCP done? that isn't, you know, that isn't, you know, without Batman's help. Like, what have you done as commissioner without running to Batman for help? And that would be a cool idea to play with of, like, you know, everyone kind of turning, you know, of this opponent kind of running against Gordon. And like I said, the idea itself would be a cool side, side plot for Batman. You could still have a story of, like, Batman doing stuff, but at the same time you could have him, like, protecting Gordon from assassinations or, or stopping these dis disinformation from getting to Gordon. Um, all of that. And, like, that could be a cool side story, like a cool underlying plot thread. And I think that of itself would be a cool angle to go, go with for James Gordon. So let's throw out the idea of what if in this hypothetical Batman storyline that Jim Gordon does become the mayor of Gotham. First off, he'd hate the job because he'd be like, "Oh, they won't let you carry a gun. They won't let me carry a gun anymore." And that like that would just be a fun throwaway line. He'd be like hearing all these like people yakking back and forth of like, "Oh, legislation here and, you know, uh taxes there and all that." And he'd just be like, "Why did I do this again?" And that would be a cool way, because even as mayor, he would still have to go through like the political type or a type rope over and over again. And this is, and as we all know, Gordon is not a guy to you know be the you know he's not the guy who likes pol who likes political red tape on everything. He just wants to help people, and that would be his whole thing. And like the other thing is. With Gordon as mayor, you could have him like Batman can now work more open out in the uh, out in the open without you know the pol the political factions kind of like condemning a masked vigilante. This would be a guy who who even Gotham was like, yeah, just endorse Batman. Like Batman's giving you an endorsement, that's cool. <laughs> like that's where I think would be a cool idea is that Batman, 
Like, you could have a fun scene, and this would be so Grant Morrison, too. Like, this is this would be something straight out of Grant Morrison where Batman, like, comes down. Actually, I could see this with Tiny and too, but that's another story. Where Batman just comes down and, like, endorses James Gordon for mayor. Like, he would be like, I've worked with Gord- Jim-, Jim Gordon for years, and he's a good man. I don't care what anyone says. This man wants to fight for you, Gotham. And he just takes off. Batman just fucks right off right after that. Um, and that would be it. Like, that would be it. Like, oh, if Batman and Robin like, you know, Gordon, I'll vote for, you know, it's good enough for Batman, it's good enough for me. And again, like, you, I think with Gordon as mayor, like, that would be a cool story where you could have him, like, look at the, the situation, the criminal situation in Gotham, and really kind of implement some new ideas, like, you know, kind of a really stick it to, like, there's still a lot of corruption in the GCPD, let's be real, like, how many stories have we seen, like, even though, no matter how many times Jim Gordon tries to clean up, uh, the Gotham, you know, the Gotham PD, it still finds a way to be corrupt as all hell, like, that would be a neat idea of him, like, being like, okay, they couldn't, you know, I couldn't do much before, even if I was commissioner, but now that I'm mayor, I can implement some new laws and whatnot to, you know, really fix the GCPD, and that, and also, like, that would be fun, like, he tries to do that, but then the police union, like, fires back on him, and that would be a cool little deadlock of him just being, oh, god, you know, I thought I could actually help people, but it turns out, everyone hates me, the idea of be of me trying to be a good person, yeah, you'd also have, like, maybe he would implement some more, like, laws and whatnot to maybe fix a lot, like, maybe he would send more fun, like, the other cool thing would be he would send funding to uh, to Arkham Asylum uh, to strengthen their security measures, as well as fund employment and mental health. I think he would also, like, there would be cool in this story where Gordon also does the same for Blackgate, but not just for the inmates, but also for the guards. And, again, like, there would just be some political blow, like, oh, Gordon wants to help the me- the mentally ill, he wants to help the Joker, or he wants to, you know, get, you know, psychologically help inmates, harumph, the idea of them having a working life after, cr- after prison, harumph. So, the idea of, like, oh, cool, a, a, of Gordon, because, again, Jim Gordon is a cool character, and why I think Jim Gordon has lasted as long as he has in the Batman and subsequently the DC mythos is that he's just this blue collar guy who just wants to go home and smoke, go home, smoke, have a beer, and be with his family. But at the same time, he's thrust upon all these, um, all these duties and whatnot he doesn't want to do, but he bites his lip anyway and does it anyway. And he's got a you know a guy dressed as a in a funny costume helping him out most of the time. So I think a lot of people like the idea of like the working class guy taking on like a lot of political enemies and going for the throat this time around, rather than just be like, all right, I'm just gonna follow whatever what mayor such and such says until we find out he's corrupt or he gets killed or he's too cowardly. Whatever, I'll just do this. But we would need idea of like, oh, there's another election running up, and that this would be a cool idea of like the start of this Batman story arc, where it would just be a throwaway line like him and Bullock are talking. Like you hear about the new election for the new mayor, he's like, oh, I don't care, they're all the same. And and Bullock would be like, you know something, Kamish. You'd make a good mayor. I'm just saying. And Gordon would be like, Haha, yeah, that's funny. And at the end of the comic, he'd be like, Mayor of God, huh. It's not a bad idea. And then, like, late, like, he, like, it wouldn't start, like, instantly he would be announcing, I'm running for mayor of Gotham. It'd be like, he would more than likely go to, like, in this story, he would be like, he'd be going to Barbara. First and foremost, he'd go to Barbara and be, like, talking about it. And I think Barbara would be really cool with the idea of, like, yeah, you should totally be mayor of Gotham. And finally, he like, the next person he would logically go to to take in that idea is, of course, Batman. And, of course, like, um, you wouldn't have to worry about funding because you know Bruce Wayne would be backing Jim Gordon. You already know. Like, it wouldn't just be Batman endorsing him. It'd be Bruce Wayne endorsing Jim Gordon for mayor. Um, and that would be just a great idea where Batman, like, it'd be like a late night. I could see it now, like, the story would be he shining a light and Batman shows up. He's like, what's the problem, Commissioner? And he'd be like, there's no real problem. I just, um, here's your advice on something. And Batman would be like, okay, shoot, man. 
I want to run for mayor. And Batman would be like, excuse me? He'd be like, yeah, man, I want to run for mayor. Um, should I do it? And he's like, why are you asking me? He's like, because you're my friend. And Batman would be like, right on. Go do it. So, yeah, I just, again, like, we've seen that in, Ar in I believe, Arkham Knight and a few other outside continuity. But, like, we've never seen it in main continuity. So you guys tell me in the comments below, what do you guys think of the idea of, like, what if we had a story where Jim Gordon became the mayor of Gotham? Would you guys be open to that idea? How do you think it would play out? Um, just comment below, let me know, and once again, I'm Mr. Multiverse. See you next time in the Multiverse.